Hello and welcome back. We are continuing as the French em Empire slash Baguette Centaur that is, well, you know, it's not all of France, but it is at least Eastern France. We still have some of Western France to pick up. Um, the last episode was a pretty big one. Uh, thought we might have bit off more than we chew could chew going after Brazil when both Great Britain and Austria joined. And we had just ramped down the military slash swap PMs. Uh, but we still managed to swing it out. And before that, we did manage to reduce pr Prussia to this. This is Prussia in the capital state. They have some other states out and about, uh, but they are in bad shape. If you take a look at the market access, it is nothing burgered. And it looks like these guys, I mean, I can't tell if they're in the Austrian market or if they're, uh, you know, waiting to leave the Prussian market. Except they're waiting to leave the Prussian market. And so Austria's market is also absolutely huge. Just an absolute banger. And so Austria is kind of the only GP really that we have to really be concerned about. You know, coming and looking through this thing. If we take a look, actually I guess Russia has a decent sized GDP. But we are standing tall, really tall over everyone else. This 25 some years into the game, um, doing really well. Um, we are looking to kind of do, we got two mini quests here. The first is taking all of the tea out of um, Great Britain's market. And the second is uh, unpurchasing the Louisiana purchase. And we've made progress towards both. We do have to go after Johor. Um, this will probably be the first ward we declare. Um, and so this will be one we're looking for. And we're also having labor problems, specifically a lot in the capital. Uh, we really need more labor. And so um, we really want to pass um, multiculturalism. Uh, the problem is no one supports it. You have to get someone with a humanist ideology. And I have no idea how to do that here in the game now as it stands um you know with what's going on i don't see anything in here that kind of sounds like uh you know uh this sort of stuff i guess we don't have all of the rhineland conquered what happened there or i guess maybe bavarian rhineland okay we got to take it from bavaria um thought we'd already finished that but a little bit of a digression there um but i don't see anything for getting us a humanist and i don't see any exiles with the humanist ideology which we've been looking for since we passed human rights um not seeing it and so i guess it may be the case that you can't rush this sort of thing you got to wait until the humanists start appearing and this is you know this is a bit uncomfortable um with the way things are going, but we are going to have the technocratic empire of the Bonapartists pretty soon here, um, because technocracy is a chugging away. Now, all of our guys are mobilized because we got uh, this thing going on, um, and so hopefully we get that through. Uh, we will also make sure we are establishing colonies everywhere where there is not uh, severe malaria, which we currently are. And then we're going to take a quick look at technologies. And we're going for modern nursing into gantry cranes. Um, I think we're just going to switch over to Gantry Cranes. We don't really need Modern Nursing at this point, uh, but we're so close to finishing it. We'll put Modern Nursing after this, but we just want to get onto Gantry Cranes faster. And then I think we're going to go Civilizing Mission into Malaria Prevention and just look to scoop up a huge chunk of the Congo for ourselves. And by a huge chunk, I mean all of it. Uh, okay, well, you know... Uh, we're not going to... Yeah, we're just going to do that one. That's fine. War's about to break out here. Um, we'll tidy this up. We'll probably go after Johor. And then we'll see, you know, kind of how things are looking after that. So, we just got Technocracy just a moment after. And so, I think this is the one to talk about here. Uh, technocracy, I think, is probably uh, going to be relatively meta. Uh, why don't we just keep this rolling? Uh, because I think it allows you, with the political strength for engineers and the decreased political strength, you're not getting it on, you know, the capitalists or the landowners. I think the way clout will actually look is it'll be easy to get the 20% clout on all of the trade unionists, the intelligentsia, and the industrial which is really really huge because when you're harvesting their double bonuses they have really good double bonuses and this helps to facilitate that we can also put the armed forces in you know be hyper legitimate and uh, I think it just gives a little bit more flexibility than like autocracy it's at the expense of some authority but we're just gonna kick out a greener grass campaign here uh, which is unfortunate because I think it's kind of helping out and we'll also nuke uh, one of these I think we'll get rid of the opium consumption tax. 
consumption taxes aren't really helping a whole whole lot we are losing a lot of money here but once um you know our forces stand down because we have a ton of conscripts conscripted which we can't stand down ourselves uh then we'll be in good good shape and so uh this is kind of how things are going uh pretty pleased with the technocracy pass and uh, we'll see how things keep developing Okay, at some point I think we must have taken a wrong turn at an event and picked something that swapped us up back to interventionalism because I could have sworn we passed laissez-faire. If we didn't pass laissez-faire before, that's a bit of a mistake. And we're going to pass it now, I guess. Laissez-faire is absolutely huge, especially because we have an enormous investment pool kind of already like built up. And so this will really allow us to take off. Man, I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? Can we not have laissez-faire and disallowed by serfdom, isolationism, anarchy? Let's just check this. Did technocracy swap us off? Unlocks command economy. We don't want to go command economy. Although it's interesting that we can. Did that bump us back to laissez-faire? I mean, we started hemorrhaging a bunch of money basically instantly after we passed this, right? Uh, which, if we're eating more construction goods... But it doesn't look like we're eating more construction goods, does it? No, I think we just finally got everything all ramped up. And we have a revolution of Bruin. And it doesn't look like... That looks like a mighty big revolution, actually. Yeah, that's too big. I don't think we can pass... There's a lot of people that support laissez-faire. Maybe we could try and sneak it in. We also have a ton of support from the rural folk. And we have a bunch of, like, uh, these outclave type of troops. Maybe we can still swing it. Kind of weird spot, though. How much is this going to progress a tick? 10.2. This is a, a, a strange inflection point. Well, I'm keen on this war ending and us seeing kind of where we're at here. And also, uh, we can't downsize any of these buildings. But what we can do is we can swap their PMs down. It looks like we have about 90 battalions here. And we have 250 battalions total. And a lot of it's spread out now. I think we could take this rev. The people preserve interventionism. Especially if we can get the rural folk off of this, but it doesn't look like we can. And now we're making gobs of cash. So what we're going to do is we did prep a whole bunch of this, and we will look to try and double construction this episode, but that's going to be our first little uh, have a go at it. And this extra construction will, like, uh, it'll wind up a whole bunch of stuff. We're not going to let you go free. And I think we're going to just try and duke out this rev or put it down however we need to, but until then, we're gonna go after Johor and just look to, you know, take this so that we can take Singapore later and deny the tea to the UK. I think this seems like a good strategy. If someone joins in, we'll clap them and, you know, we'll just keep on keeping on uh, as we try and fulfill our own personal objectives. So we just kicked up over a thousand construction here, but this revolution is kind of progressing in a way that does make me feel very, very uncomfortable. I think we can kind of um, try and kneecap it sufficiently, but uh, ugh, it's, uh, it's a bit uncomfortable. We are on review stage of laissez-faire, so we only have a little bit further to go before we actually get laissez-faire in, and the construction coming on up is going to be big nice. It looks like maybe it's recalculating the borders, but we have so much troops uh, we have so much stuff not kind of localized to France in terms of military. We just need to be able to hold out in the capital specifically. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually add some military to the capital um, just so we can try and hold out a little bit, which I, we, we've added military before and then we have deleted it. Um, you know, this is kind of how things go, um, but we are trying to get this through. Now, of course, we are doing this Johor thing, but we already have them occupied, so that's not a big deal. Um, the repeaters are going to be nice. Uh, we will swap up that PM. Uh, and it looks like we do need to kind of swap over some other things as well. If we can get on the covered markets, let's do covered markets as well. Uh, which is going to be big nice. And let's see what this event here is about. Uh, it's about food. Alright, so we'll do the change the progress of the Civil War. We kind of, I think, want to try and um, bring the Civil War out. But these abilities to, like, uh, kind of influence the civil war is pretty nice 
I think we still win the Civil War, but I'm not exactly looking to fight it. I guess it's probably, maybe it's better to rip the Band-Aid off. This progression is pretty nice because we're going to get implementation pretty soon here. And we've like more than doubled construction, so this crank up is also big nice. We get uh, French Malay, and so now, I think, I'm not sure if we have to incorporate it. We are going to incorporate it, but I'm not sure if we have to. And we get a big Russian uh, cut down to size CB against us. Um, so we're going to take a look here. Ah, oh, man. And so uh, we don't want to fight this. Of course, we do have a little bit more buffer now. And I think we do... Let's first make sure we have the diplomatic or interests kind of where we need them in order to really take what we want from Russia. I think we're going to release Ukraine and just take land towards Perm and Ural. And I think if we release Ukraine, they will be in pretty bad shape. Um, but we'll... Uh, Mobilize everyone, put them on fronts, uh, do this sort of thing, and come back when we see exactly who we're fighting. Because there's a good shot, good shot that we're fighting Austria too here. So it looks like no one else is going to be joining Russia in this foolhardy endeavor. Um, so what we put in was liberate Ukraine, conquer this place, conquer Galish, which leaves us adjacent to Perm, and also humiliate Russia. And um, we're mainly humiliating them, that way we kind of have an open line to Austria, Austria. And also we recognize we're kind of going to be vulnerable maybe a little bit in this upcoming period of time when we are revving, if we are revving, this type of thing. Um, we have it in the hands of the state event i think what we will do is we will uh, we'll give them uh let's actually we don't want to give them positive progress i don't think we want to spike this i think we're trying to hold them off long enough that we can try and enforce and win this war we get gantry cranes right here so i think we're going to do the gantry cranes hustle and uh swap over to ironclads and also swap over to industrial ports and also in the rural areas swap on over now we only have johor which is messing up all of our pms and we're not that concerned about it but we'll swap over to steam powered trawlers everywhere i think we'll also uh put the isle de france uni up to 51 for the max university uh or economies of scale throughput and where are our shippy builders we're going to switch to steamships and military production and so so now we should be in good shape here we get ironclads um, of course our ironclads are going to be you know kind of having uh, some problems we're gonna go Navy offense because um, this is what you use when you're landing uh, but we're mainly gonna be relying on you know double triple land type things uh, when we're going in on them uh, rather than uh, you know anything else and we get laissez-faire here which is pretty nice because now um, <laughs> I can't believe we weren't on this before. Now we're finally draining the investment pool at a pretty good clip, I might add, um, which is causing us to gain money. So whenever you're evaluating how much money you're doing, it's this plus this. I can't believe we didn't pass this earlier, but I guess it is what it is. Law passing is so much slower now in 1.3. Um, I think you probably have to try and carefully navigate this, but it does make it a little bit more interesting. And so when we're on last, I guess maybe we also should have downsized some buildings while we could, um, in particular in areas that we wanted to, but laissez-faire is going to be big nice and uh our political movement to preserve disappears and so this is seems to be another angle and now we're just gonna give russia the business you know what i mean uh and so we'll just come in and we will take a look at another law we can maybe pass here um we don't want to get off of this we're on technocracy we can swap off that pretty easy um kind of interested in going rights of assembly kind of not interested in revving um so i think we could just go private health insurance um I mean, maybe we're not interested in this. Maybe we're just interested in trying to expand law enforcement a little bit uh, to try and deal with turmoil. And in order to do this, let's see if we have insufficient tax capacity anywhere. We do not. It doesn't look like, at least. And so I think we're going to start adding up tax capacity. We know we have a lot of stuff here, so we're going to put in some government admins at the back, look to kind of beef that up. And then we're going to be trying to do like a double, triple landing on uh, Russia. And this should be a good shellacking of Russia here uh, when this war pops off, which it does. Um, we will also just be like generally pushing, but we're going to look to get some landings in there as well.
So the war is progressing quite nicely, and we've also been just racking up construction. We've about tripled construction here since the start of this episode. We get a native uprising. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think the, the thing is, is like, it's really important to emphasize how huge a mistake we made by being not being on laissez-faire. Laissez-faire is so, so, so good because it juices the amount that's going into the investment pool. And this is what facilitates us going up to like 15k construction here, just off the back of that. We will, of course, have to micro all these first fronts uh naturally because of course you know the idea of just assigning to a front and forgetting about it that's not what this game's about clearly uh this game's about micromanagement of military uh, but uh we will we should be able to get in here uh, it looks like we're pushing into the capital just from the south anyways and so it's not the end of the world that our landing crew uh is kind of having some problems and hey look we resolved them here the russian military is collapsing this should be kind of the end of russia much in the same way last episode was the end of Prussia. The two rhyme, so we gotta take them out first. And we also, this episode, have facilitated next time being able to take everything, all the tea from Great Britain. So that's probably gonna be kind of what we're doing. They sided against the Netherlands. Brunei here? Uh, it's a bit interesting. Uh, we're not gonna get involved here, but uh, we are still, like, making money here even after tripling construction. Now, it's important to do this number plus this number, so we're really losing money, and this investment pool is about to get drained out. So we're just gonna try and build into this um, and not add anything currently, uh, and just let this construction queue just absolutely just thresh out. Okay. We'll take the authority malice. This will cause some disapproval. Uh, and I think we'll just take a look at what we can maybe... I think we sent... Yeah, we did send guys down there. I think we'll take a look at maybe what laws we can pass here. Um, I, I don't think there's anything we... Well, so what we really want is we really want to go multiculturalism. I'll tell you what we want. What we really, really want. We want to... We want to... We want to... We want a humanist. We, instead, we have a nihilist, which we're fine with a nihilist agitator. We're kind of not that fine with the anarchist agitator, but because uh, we're not trying to go communist just yet. Uh, then the, the Bonaparte, uh, <laughs> the Bonaparte clan has a little bit more to offer. But see, here we are looking for, for in particular, an agitator that is a. Uh, humanist and we have not been able to find them i get baited debated every time i see ludite because i think they're a humanist um but yeah still no humanist and so we are struggling on that regard but we're not struggling in this war this war is almost over here and we will have repelled i think this is the third or fourth uh maybe uh attempt to you know cut us down to size it's just not working for these guys um and i think that a big part of this uh i want to emphasize again is at the beginning doing humiliation and war reps from a whole bunch of these guys to try and crank off in this regard and you're seeing uh we are getting to the end of this investment pool so we are going to start losing money but this is fine we could even increase taxes uh if we need to but i think we're going to try and keep it on the level and we're going to see if these guys have uh are a little bit done with this looks like they will accept this peace proposal so we'll have at it and uh we get everything we wanted and we will in here uh, actually start damaging relations with them because we will want to puppet Ukraine and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do all the stuff to you know reset the PMs in here and incorporate in here um, I thought we also went for after Latvia did we not I guess not well, okay. Well, there's Russian Dobruja down there, but we have done a good job prepping uh, for the T Wars here, uh, defending against yet another cut down to size CB. And also, this episode, we have tripled construction, which is huge. Um, we didn't have laissez faire before. Uh, we, we finally got on laissez faire. Uh, mistakes were made. Uh, I don't think technocracy was this episode. I think that was last episode that we got on the technocratic union, um, which is uh, pretty nice. I'm still thinking, let's take a look at what the cloud of the trade unions looks like. See, I'm thinking that it's pretty good, but maybe it's too hard to get the trade unions up and going with these. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we would really like to also go this, but uh, currently there's too big a block of conservative block. And so maybe, maybe this isn't the way of the technocracy, but we'll see. We could eventually, you know, try and get off onto Council Republic. We do have a movement uh, from the guy, uh, 
one of our agitators, the anarchist, I'm guessing, will support it. Something like this. Um, but yeah, this episode, uh, trying to be a little bit shorter on the episodes. This episode, we staved off uh, yet another cut down to size CB. We prepped our ability to uh, take all of the tea from, uh, you know from the, the English, which is, of course, one of the major goals of this campaign. And uh, we also tripled construction, unless I already said tripled construction. Um, next episode, I think we're going to be going after Bavaria so we can complete the natural borders of France, because uh, we just have that one little e meany thing we get to take. I think we'll probably also look to puppet them too, so maybe we should go after Baden first. That way they all have full military access, this sort of thing. But I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, do the YouTube algorithm stuff, hit the bell, ba-bing, and have a good day.